Hello guys, welcome back to another video. And if you are new to the channel, thank you so much for watching today. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you are new, please leave a comment below and introduce yourself. I love meeting you guys and saying hello to everyone. Sorry for the background noise. So I'm looking a little bit grungy right now, but that's kind of the purpose of this video because I'm gonna go from this to looking a little bit more put together. Um, tonight is my husband's work Christmas party and I decided that I would bring you guys through the day of how I'm gonna get ready and stuff. I need to give myself a little mini pedicure, paint my toenails, I need to put on some self tanner. I'm gonna have to do my hair and my makeup and pick an outfit. So I'm gonna bring you guys through that whole process. This should be a fun day. Thank God I already have these done, very Christmassy red. Um, but my toes are looking so funky. I'll show you guys. They're so grown out and just, I do not have cute feet. I am not a girl with cute feet. No matter what I do, no matter how intense my pedicure is, they ain't cute. So yeah, I just got back from the gym. I think I said that, I'm not sure. And I'm burping because I just finished my breakfast. But yeah, so I'm gonna go upstairs, hop in the shower. I was gonna self tan last night, but I ended up having to like clean up after dinner and do the laundry and I was exhausted. I had a really intense workout, blah, blah, blah. So I didn't do it last night and I have to do it today. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go upstairs, go hop in the shower and then we'll get started on the self tan. Let's go. Okay, so I just got out of the shower. I am about to get started on my self tan. Um, I will link at the top or in the description box um, my self tanning routine so that you guys you know, know the full situation. But today I'm just gonna show you like a little bit of a clip. So I need to moisturize like my elbows and my hands and my feet and I do my armpit area too. Again, it'll all be in that video. And get that going because I need that to be on my body for like four hours before I can rinse it off. So. Let's do it. So I'm just drying up right now. David's home for lunch, but he's back there. You guys can't see him. Um, and he actually got home in the nick of time because I was just starting on my back and my back is such a challenge to tan, so I have him do it for me. Anyway, I am having some lunch right now. I just made a little salad. It's uh, organic green leaf lettuce, organic cucumber, organic cherry tomatoes, and some lemon turmeric dressing. And then I have some spicy vegan chicken patties in the oven right now. Um, I just got these. I think I tried them for the first time like two weeks ago and we've just been buying them up ever since. They're super good. Corn, meatless, spicy patties. It's not focusing, but you can see. These are very, very good. Once I eat, David goes back to work. I'm gonna go start on my toes. Oh, I was gonna show y'all how bad they are. <laughs> Get ready. I got a pedicure like, um, when was Lauren's when was Lauren's wedding? October 26th, that's when it was. Okay, so I got my toes done for that and I haven't touched them since. Look how gross and long. So I've gotta give myself, oh, I need new slippers. These are looking rough. Um, so I'm about to, I'm gonna give myself a little pedicure and repaint them. Hi, I am nice and full and feeling good. Um, so I need to get started on my toes. These are my color options. I have like this color from OPI, kind of like a browny kind of color. It doesn't really go with these nails. So I'm already feeling like that is out. That's called over the taupe. Yeah, I'm just not gonna do that one. Or I have like this pinky color. I just got this one on sale. It kind of has like a purplish hue, a little bit. It's really pretty, super like neutral type of color with a little hint of pink. Um, this one is called somewhere over the rainbow mountains. These two, you know what, those are already out. I've already decided right now. These two are good options. So I have a white, which would look pretty nice, but I don't want it to be like red nails, white toes. That might be a little bit tacky, so I don't know. This one's called Snow Me White. 
That's so Christmassy. Oh my God. But I think I'm just going to go with this one. It's like this dark purpley type of color by OPI. And it's called Yes, My Condor Can Do. That's a little weird. I think I'm just going to go with that. I love dark nails and dark toes. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Um, I need to take this polish off and cut and file and get the dead skin off of the side of my toes. Oh my God. They're so gross. You guys I have the nastiest feet. And since I like work out every day, I get like these terrible calluses, like on my big toe. And, um, if I like take them off too much, I get blisters. So I keep them very sexy. I have underwear on by the way. So, you know, I'm not just sitting here with a nudie booty. Let's get started. Taking this polish off. Oh my God. That is not a sexy foot. Like that is just not like there. No one would pay me to look at these toes, even if they had a foot fetish, you know what I mean? So. There's that. Oh, my phone. I'm also doing a little TikTok video today. Do I want to show these ugly ass toes on TikTok? No, no, we do not. You know, I'm new there. People don't know me very well yet. I can't just be like hitting them with, you know, two inch long toenails. It'd be too much. actually just found this um, red. So I'm thinking I'll just do the red on my toes to match my fingernails, but it's just kind of old. I don't even, I don't even think I can get it open anymore. Oh, okay. That's why I haven't used it. It's like paint shot. Okay, whatever. Screw that idea. Like I said, I'm going to be using this purpley dark color for my toes. I need to cut about five inches off of the toe nail. Let me show you just how long these are. Like what the, what the hell? Not cute. Um, okay, so I need to trim those and file. And then I have this little thing for my calluses. So let's do a little foot transformation. Ready, go. Okay, so my toes are done and drying. And let me cover up my undies. I don't know what I want to do right now. I'm currently watching Lauren, I think it's Geraldo, Geraldo. Um, I've been subscribed to her for a very long time. I love her. She is so dope. She's so cool. She's so chill. She's so real. Her channel is the bomb. So check her out. Um, I do need to pick out some outfit options. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I feel so grungy in this video because I'm just in this loose t-shirt. But I'm, you know, y'all know when you get it, when you like tan yourself, you have to like wear loose fitting clothing. And actually this is one of my favorite shirts ever. It's so comfortable. Um, it's one of David's old shirts and I love it and I'm rambling. Anyway, let's pick out some outfit options. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to wear. It's this like two piece, um, green <sighs> pants set. It has like a crop top and pants and I got it for my birthday in 2018 and I have never worn it. Oh Lord, that's a real problem. I might need a face mask. Anyway, I've never worn it. Um, I'm thinking about wearing it tonight with this blazer. So anyway, I'll put all my options out and show you guys what I'm thinking. Okay, so I will try the stuff on once my toes are dry, but this is kind of what I'm thinking. So I either have this black silky dress um, and I would wear it with those thigh high boots, which are very cute. I love those. And then I have like a cute jacket that could go over top or even like this blazer or, you know, whatever. 
This is the two-piece thing I'm talking about. It's so, so cute. It is like a little bit revealing. It zips up in the back. Yeah, and that's the front. It's just really, really cute. And then these are bell-bottom and then they're high-waisted. And if I'm feeling snatched enough today, I probably will go with that. And then I would put this blazer over it with some heels that match, like some nude heels. And then this I actually wore to um, David's Christmas party in 2017 when we lived in Vegas. And it's really cute, it has a high slit and I would just put that on with some nude heels. Um, yeah, so those are my options. Okay, so I'm trying on my options right now. I'm really liking this dress. I feel like it looks pretty good. The only thing is, is that I can't really wear a bra with it because it's very tight fitting and I don't have any bras that are low V enough. So like I would have to go braless, which I totally don't mind, but it is a work party and David's boss is gonna be there and coworkers and everything and I, it's cold. Like my nipples are already popping. So I feel like that might be a little bit inappropriate. I don't know, but it looks really, really cute. And yeah, I feel like it looks good on my body. I really do like it. Um, so it's an option. I tried on the two piece and the pants fit fine, but this will not even like stay zipped on the back. I've either put on some pounds or my back muscles have gotten a little bit wider because that will not zip. But the green pants, look really great with this black top and it also looks really amazing with this like wrap tie kind of cropped red but i'm trying to figure out like is that too cheesy or is it like perfect for a christmas party and i think once i have my hair my makeup jewelry and everything done that might be really cute i'll try that on for you guys right now so that y'all can see what i'm talking about but yeah this one's good also I remember when i wore this two years ago like i had to constantly make sure that my vag wasn't popping out so cool okay and then this is the red and green and like as I'm seeing it and trying it on again I feel like I'm gonna go with this at first I was like is this cheesy like I'm not sure but I feel really good in this and it's not like super revealing I'm gonna put on like a lace uh, bralette underneath but it's only showing like a little bit of stomach and I feel like it accentuates my accentuates my body pretty well um, and I actually have not ever worn this shirt and I bought it like almost two years ago so yeah like the booty looks good. It's cute, I actually really like this. So I was Googling or Pinteresting like red and green outfits to be like, is this even a thing? And definitely is, it's super cute. Like little combo, especially for a Christmas party. So yeah, I feel like I'm gonna go with this. With all gold jewelry, like probably gold on the lids for the makeup. Yeah, I'm feeling this. I think I'm just gonna go with this one. Yay! I just rinsed off my tan. I definitely should have done it last night or earlier this morning because it didn't sit long enough, but I still have some color. Um, you can tell because my face didn't have any uh, tanning mousse on it and the rest of my body did. So I am still like a little bit darker. So I have a little bit more color, which is great, but I should have left it on longer. Um, anyway, I'm gonna get started on my makeup. I'm probably just going to time-lapse and maybe do a voiceover i'm not sure i guess you guys will find out i am not a beauty guru as y'all know if you are if you've been a subscriber you know that that's not my thing but um i do a pretty decent job on my own makeup but i'm probably just going to put you guys on time lapse so you can watch a little bit of the process i think i'm going to go for just like a very um kind of bronzy gold look on my eyes um, I definitely want some shimmer. I'll show you guys the color that I'm thinking of. So it's in this Milani palette and I'm thinking this gold color right here, um, like all over my lid, just like really Christmassy and shimmery and uh, probably like some nudie browns and stuff around that main color. Um, yeah, the only thing that I wish I knew how to do was put on fake lashes. I have tried so many times. I'm just not great at it. Um, yeah, I do really want to try the magnetic lashes though because those seem like they are doable. Um, and it would really make this look pop. Let me turn my lamp on. It would really make this look pop, but yeah. I need to like spend a day practicing before 
I'm ever going to spend an hour doing makeup and then screw it up with trying to put on fake lashes. So, you know, we'll just deal with my own. But this is the before. This is a real problem. I've already prepped my face. I washed it and I put on this like peppermint mask that's super nice. It like calms down the redness and blemishes. Um, but this one's a beast and it will not calm down. So it's going to need a lot of concealer. Um, and then I just have on a little rejuvenating radiant oil by a cure. Uh, like that's the, the line and, um, some like moisturizer by Lily Anna that I found on Amazon. The peppermint mask, I use it all the time. It's so, so good. Um, but I got that in Australia. If I can find it, I will link all those things below. Anyway, uh, I'm sure this video is already getting so long. I'm going to get started on my makeup. It is 3.50 right now, and I really want to be done getting ready by 5. I mean, like, hair, dressed, everything. So, that's what we're going for. All right, let's go. guys I don't know why I'm being so brave but I've never attempted a cut crease and I'm trying it right now so I have my Tarte concealer and I'm just kind of carving out my lid and then I'm gonna pack the gold on top and I'm really hoping this turns out okay because like I said I've never done this but before a party that you've been getting ready for for hours is a really good time to try this right I'm gonna try the other eye now see if the gold works oh no you guys I don't know I don't know I don't know oh oh that is nice it's going on there so well there I can't the color is going on there really nicely anyway I'm gonna get back to this um 
yeah okay i'm gonna finish my face i cannot film this whole thing my camera's dying and it's like putting a lot of pressure on me so i'll just show you guys the after and then after my makeup we got to start on my hair and then get dressed and then we'll close out this video okay update i've done my foundation and concealer i feel like the eyes came out really well especially for my first time even like trying like anything with like a crease or putting concealer over my eye or anything um yeah so i feel pretty good about it and my wing came out nicely i just do it with black um eyeshadow because i do not mess with black eyeliner i'm way too scared so right now i'm going to um probably set everything my under eyes and stuff and then start bronzing uh eyebrows and you know under eye eyeshadow stuff like that yeah so that's the update okay my makeup is done the only thing i have left to do are my lips I hate when my foundation covers my lips because it makes me look like I don't have a top lip and it's just awful. Okay, yeah, so makeup done. Now I just need to curl my hair. Oh, it's already 4.43. It's taken a long time, so let's get started on that. Just kidding. I kind of feel like, you know those uh, memes where it's like like this gorgeous, um, you know, great curled hair and it's like you and then the girl they cheated with, this is the girl they cheated with, the one who never brushes out their curls. So girls, if you do that, if you just curl your hair and then just leave it, it's not cute. You gotta brush this out. So that's what I did. That's I mean, that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, I'm gonna brush through this, go get dressed. Dave is in the shower now and then finish up this video. Okay guys, I am finally done getting ready. Let me show you. We have friends downstairs waiting on us, so I'm trying to be super quick, but this is the final look. I love the way it came out. I feel really good and confident and pretty and a little sexy. Yeah, so that is it guys. If I can like snap some uh, stuff on my phone tonight of the party, I absolutely will. Maybe insert some pictures, but yeah, this is it. Came together very nicely, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next video.